and welcome back to the channel there's a look at the lyric graffiti which i'm about to hop on go for a ride beautiful sunshine this afternoon we've got a temperature here of about 50 degrees so this is going to be a nice ride compared to ride number one which i was riding in some rain and wind not really any wind very little just a little wee a uh, bit of wind but not really noticeable really at all so let's go for a ride and on this video I'm just gonna call this video getting used to the bike which is what I'm about to try and do get a little more used to it <clears throat> I'll tell you, I rode it to and from work today. That was my second go on the bike since I've got it. And then now is ride number three. And each time I hop on this bike, I'm loving it more and more. It's a different kind of a ride. And um, I'll get more into that. I'm comparing it to the, uh, to the uh, Grizzly. I'll get more into that. Uh, when I do a comparison video in the near future uh, I'm not going to do one quite yet because I want to get a little bit more used to the bike here just riding it around just to get the feel for it I just like to uh, just kind of get comfortable with the bike and uh, it's a little easier to talk about the bike when you get to know the bike a little bit better but uh so far, I am really enjoying it. It's a different kind of a ride, and like I say, I'll explain it more when I do a comparison. It's kind of nice, though, to have two different bikes that are a different, a uh, little bit different ride. I'll tell you, this bike for, and I didn't even speak about it in my uh, opening video, uh, the first ride impression video, because I didn't even notice it until I got off the bike and I thought, wait, I forgot to mention something about suspension. I didn't notice anything, you know, so there was nothing really to talk about and I'm finding that now. I, It goes over the bumps. Uh, better than I would have expected for a hardtail. I gotta tell you, I did not expect to be uh, gliding over the bumps like I am, uh, because I'm not even really noticing it. And uh, so that's uh, kind of different than I was expecting. But uh, it does take a few seconds to get, get going. But I'll tell you, once it gets going, look at how quick it got up to 22, 23 miles per hour. I changed the, uh, I changed the uh, setting to uh, Imperial uh, from metric. So uh, I've got miles per hour instead of kilometers. I know both miles per hour and kilometers, but I uh, am, because I'm here in the U.S. now, I'm... Uh, kind of go along with what they do here but I I uh, know how to convert metrics so that wouldn't have been an issue but for folks in the US watching they might be thinking the bikes going 50 when it's only going 30 because 50 kilometers is 30 miles per hour hopefully you're picking up my voice okay there is when I get riding here I am noticing the wind quite a bit right now Yeah, this is a very, uh, very smooth ride. One thing that I do uh, notice is the tires, to me, don't look like they have a lot of tread on them or that, and I think they're going to not last overly long, uh, but we'll see. I did see somebody mention uh, that they got two flats on their bike already. 
But that, I mean, that could happen anywhere, I suppose, right? It doesn't, it, it's not a case of just a, this, it's this bike. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think this bike already, in the little bit I've ridden it, may be exceeding what I thought um, it would be. Uh, I'm noticing each time I ride it, I'm enjoying it that much more, uh, which is a good sign. Um, yeah, I'm liking it, yeah. Hopefully, uh, everyone else who has theirs is enjoying it as much as I am. And um, Bikes are uh, kind of funny because it's hard to explain. We all might have different expectations or whatever you know to what we're expecting but um I, it would be nice if we could just before we ever bought a bike if we could test ride a whole bunch of bikes you know say there's about six bikes that you've got your eye on and you keep narrowing it down that's kind of how i do it um, I'll have a few bikes in mind, which I did before I bought this one, and then narrowed it down. Well, wouldn't it be nice to actually try them before you bought them? I know that's not possible. It may be possible someday, but right now you just can't do that. You can't just go to your local uh, bike shop, you know, and, and, and test ride the bikes, unfortunately, but that would be... Geez, I might be over at the bike store every day trying out different bikes, you know, if I had the time to do it. I think I'd be, uh, and then I wouldn't know, maybe maybe that would be worse because then I wouldn't know what to choose. Maybe they're all, they're all good, you know. A completely different, and I said this on the uh, impressions uh, video, first impression ride, it's a completely different, uh, position that I'm sitting in it feels like so it's it gives a completely different kind of a different perspective when I'm riding which I really like I think I think what it is I might be sitting a little bit closer to the handlebars and the handlebars are these are like BMX uh, handlebars they're not up as high as or or as narrow as the uh, grizzly so maybe that's giving me that different effect even with the camera i can't see because i've got the chest uh, uh mount on so i can't see the picture right now i'm hoping that the camera's pointed down a little bit lower because i noticed it was it was a little bit up too much and i i know everyone likes to see the speedometer hopefully you're uh at this angle you're able to see it okay but it just gives you a, a more open, this bike uh, sitting position gives me a more open, uh, it feels like a, a more open view or something, you know, like, it, like I said in the other video, it feels like I'm riding in a pickup truck as opposed to a car that's got a lower seat, you know. Just different. When you get uh, two things going, when you get nice sunny weather like I have right now, and you get a nice bike, that makes you really want to get out there and ride. Let that FedEx truck go. Now I'm not pedaling at all today, I'm just doing a throttle only. Uh, getting used to the thumb throttle. That's another thing I thought I would be a little more um, not liking, but I think I think that won't be a problem getting used to this. I uh, I have ridden a couple of things in the past. I've had thumb throttle. I've had uh, ridden on a snowmobile before, which is uh, thumb throttle, and also one time a lot of years back had a uh, Honda three-wheeler uh, Honda 90 and it was a uh, thumb throttle but uh, but 
but it just takes a little getting used to. It's not, it's not bad. I've been using the, uh, I've been using the regen braking a little bit here. I haven't done any hills yet. I will be in the future doing uh, hill testing and all, but um, but the regen uh, definitely worked here. That's them in action right there. Go down here. Get over to the bike lane here for a minute. I have no mirrors on the bike, so I can't see behind me without turning. I don't have any particular place I'm going. I'm just roaming around here testing the bike. Um, I do have it in uh, currently in off-road mode. I don't know how much I'll use the uh, on-road mode even though i'm on the road right now i think i think what i'll do is i'll probably use that on bike uh, path um where there's other bikers or pedestrians uh but if i'm on the road or in a bike lane i think i'm going to stick to the uh off-road just because i need sometimes a little quicker uh, get up and go to get out of intersections and things like that I tend to ride a little faster on the road as opposed to um, in a bike lane for sure. You just can't get in a bike lane. You just it's just not possible to get up to a uh, high speed anyway. And I don't need to go that fast on a bike path anyway. One thing that would have been nice on the bike, and I know they didn't want to put it on there because it would be turning it into a moped, so they said so, would be uh, signal lights. I would have liked that, but I guess you could put your own on, but. I can tell you the regen definitely works. Save your brakes for sure using that. The other thing for sure between this bike and the Grizzly, I can tell you, is the weight. Definitely lighter. I'll have to get the bike side by side, but this graffiti appears to be, to me, by just by eyeing it, a little bit longer. Um, but I'll, uh, I have not had the bike side by side, uh, yet, but I will, I will have, uh, when we do, a, a comparison of the bikes. I know there's several people asking for that, to do a comparison, and I definitely will. It might take more than one video, uh, to do comparisons, because we may do several things. Speed test for sure, uh, hill climbing, and we'll see, probably uh, a couple of videos, different ones, but yeah, I'm liking uh, two things, the, the weather and the bike, it's a great combination. I haven't done a speed test on the bike yet, but that'll be an interesting thing too to see just how fast this bike does go. I 
I've heard people, others have ridden, and they've said they've gotten it um, anywhere from 37, I've heard, to 45, so I don't know. Probably going to be somewhere in there. I, I think it's going to be closer to the 40, like 30. The 37 sounds more closer to me than the 45, but it's going to be somewhere in that 40 mile per hour range, I'm sure, but... Now here's where I can switch it over to the, I just switched it over to the on-road. I think they have because when I tried the uh, the first ride there, I think they have it set pretty pretty much right on the 20 mile per hour. I think it was right around 32 kilometers, so that's right there. 32, I think I had it at 33 or something like that. But, so they have they have it pretty much locked right at. So if you're worried about legal uh, speed and what you can legally ride and you're worried about, well, am I going the right amount of speed? You you kind of don't really need your cruise control, I suppose. You can just have it set to the on-road and just have the full throttle, you know, and, and that'll be pretty much right on. Pretty safe to say that I'm the pretty safe to say that I'm the first person in my area here that has a lyric graffiti. I have not seen any. This is the first one. See, I'm going up a, a little bit of a slight hill here, and I'm in, I got it full throttle, and I'm in uh, on road. But see, now that it's, it's flattening out, it's going to pick up speed, but I'm going to turn right here. Now it wants to go, see. So it does lose, lose something on uh, going up a hill for sure, but on the flat, it loves the flat. I should have went down there. Oh well, doesn't matter. Let's go this way. And still I'm on the on-road, but I'm gonna switch it over. Here we go. I'm liking the fact that down here, the speedometer, look at how big the speed number is. You can see that, that's uh, huge. <laughs> So I can definitely uh, see without a problem how fast I'm going. I'm liking the seat a lot too. This is a nice seat. Um, Just a just a joy to ride, I gotta say. I don't think anybody who buys this bike is, is going to be disappointed. Um, at least on the flat. I haven't, like I said, I haven't done any big hills or anything, but um, just from what I've done. Uh, you can tell that it's going to be pretty good. I think it's going to have a little struggle starting off on hills though. I get that feeling just for a few seconds. And then once it gets going, like right now, you can really feel it pick up.
You can really feel it go now. I just took it up to 30 miles an hour and dropped it back, but uh, I don't know. I'm not going to do the speed test today, but now I'm just coasting all the way. Very quiet bike compared to the Grizzly for sure. I don't really don't like the debris in the uh, bike lanes. I always cringe when I go around over run over anything. This is right around three o'clock in the afternoon, so it's moving in toward pretty soon here rush hour traffic. I think I'm going to find myself using this regen brake a lot. With that saving the brakes, uh, that's nice. Putting a little bit of juice back in your batteries never hurts either. Yeah, it takes a few seconds to get going on the takeoff, but I, just just because I'm used to the uh, Grizzly, I'm noticing that. So anybody that has a Grizzly would would notice that too. But once it gets going, you know, a few seconds in, it's uh, pretty quick. You know, once you get going a little bit here, like I got it up there to 25 pretty quickly, and you just barely touch this throttle and it's going a, a consistent 25. So I think it's gonna go pretty quick. And when I do a future uh, speed test, like I say, I just, I just wanna get uh, comfortable with the bike here. Just stripping around a little bit. So that's gonna do it for another video here on the channel don't forget if you uh, would like to uh, purchase the bike I should mention maybe you didn't know this but I have a a link in the descriptions for this bike so if you click on the link and get into uh, Lyric Cycles for the uh, Lyric Graffiti I have a $100 coupon code or discount code and that's Oregon e-biker mark you'll uh, see it there in the descriptions you just put that in when you go to uh, the site to purchase a bike if you would like to and uh, if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, uh, just hit that subscribe button and we thank you for that. And also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel, just hit that notification bell, activate it, and then uh, you'll get notified as to when the next video does come up on the channel. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video, getting to know the Lyric Graffiti as we
get more comfortable with the bike. So thank you for joining me and until next time, take care.